Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Peter Konunda, an ICT officer and an Autodesk technical representative with an organization in Nairobi, Kenya. I have worked in the field for over 12 years now, offering user support to computer users and a wide range of Autodesk products, e.g. AutoCAD, Inventor Professional, among others. I am also a performing artist and have been recording since the year 2005. In this tutorial, I would like to help Microsoft Word users create an automatic table of contents like the one you can see on your screen. This is a group constitution that I worked on and uh, this is its table of contents. The good thing with, with automatic table of contents is that whenever you add anything to the document, you do not have to manually insert the table of contents to be visible. It's automatically updated when you right click on, the, on your table of contents and update it. Now, in our second document, you realize that the table of content is empty. So to create a table of content, an automatic table of content, you must style your headings or titles appropriately in their levels. Make sure that you do, no, you do this in your entire document. So for to do this, we'll be using the options under styles under styles so that is where we'll get our title you maybe want to center this because it's, it's the only title of the document then this will be heading one of our document and since we are going to have several heading ones you might want to use the format painter and apply it but then I have had a, other headings to style so I'll make this a heading two you might not see the difference now, but you will as we go down the page and update the table of contents. So that will be heading 2. This will also be heading 2. I will move down the page, styling the document. This will be another heading 2. Oh, this, this will be heading 1 in our document. This will be another heading one. And since this is under membership, it will be heading two. Uh, let's move down. This will also be heading two. You can simply use Format Painter to copy the styling and apply it to another title. So we can make full membership heading two. Yes, that will be another heading two. So we move downward. This should be another heading two. This is still under membership, so it will be heading two. Uh, another heading to there. This should be. Since this is heading one, this will be heading two. It's under facilitators, donors. And then this will be another heading two. This will be our. Uh, heading one now we at the moment you're not numbering the document we first want to get the headings ensuring that we've missed nothing so this is under meetings 
we should have meetings somewhere up here yes this was this is supposed to be heading two because we have meetings meetings should be heading one i'm sorry because i'm not referring anywhere so um that is heading to let's see if there's another meeting special agms should be heading to let's see if there's another oh, officials meetings heading to this is still under meetings so it is heading to let's see if there's another conduct of meetings should also be heading to now we're done with heading to this will be heading one now so this is heading to since it's under contributions and payments we go down another heading to mm. heading to now this can be put as heading three and then principal member will be heading four we can format copy this using format painter because we are going to style similar headings childbirth should be on its own okay so this was heading three child but will also be heading three here so basically you, you've now gotten the idea of what happens here i'll speed up the styling so that we can insert our table of contents now uh, having styled your document and placed your headings accordingly and titles you will click or place your cursor where you want your table of contents to be or to be placed click on references on your ribbon at the top of your word document you'll see references then to the left of your window there is a table of contents click on it click on the drop down arrow that appears and then you can choose any of the two automatic tables that you want so i'll choose table of contents too so when you click on your table of content you realize that the table of contents will appear actually i'll have to delete this because we no longer need it so the table of content will appear with all the headings as set in your document remember we we placed some of the headings as heading one so all heading ones will be indented to your left to your extreme left headings two will appear uh, inwards to your right and then you'll you'll see that tab headings with the same styling for example all heading ones will be placed in the same line where we had heading two and three you realize that uh, heading heading sorry the first line of headings appears to your extreme left the second line level of headings 
will then be placed in the same line. The third level of headings, for example, death, childbirth, sickness, appears indented to the right. So you realize that we have not placed any numbering on our document. If you wish to have numbers on your document, you can just choose the format or the style of numbering that you want and then click on this and your numbering will appear. So this applies to all your document and again you can style the normal text the way you wish to have it appear. For example, if we want this to be size 12, just adjust that. You can actually copy that and apply it to other similar content on your page. You can you could as well indent your document. You could number differently. You realize that the third level of numbering also appears here. So having done that, I want us to see what happens with the few changes that we have made. So we come back to our table of contents and right click and then we update our table of contents. You realize that while updating contents, you are given two options to either update page numbers only or update the entire table. For us, the best option will be to update the entire the entire table. Reason being that we want pages to be updated and numbers as well. So you do that. Oh, and you realize that we now have a number one here. So we can as well style our document. You could as well increase the size, select the table of content, you can select the table of content and choose the font that you want, you could as well choose the size that you want or that you're comfortable with and also update a number of things on your table of contents so you also realize that we decided to number our headings but then some part of the content for example this part does not appear anywhere in our table of contents reason being this was styled as a normal or a list paragraph. It's a normal te content in your document, so it will not be shown anywhere. You also realize that our paragraphs are not included as part of our table of contents. But I want to show you something. If, for example, we change this to heading 2, and then we saved our work, when you update your table of contents, you will realize that that content will also be added to your document. You realize that some explanations that should not be here have been included since we've changed the styling. So you can go back to this and undo the changes we made. Sorry, we undo the changes, save our work one, one more time, and then update our table of contents, and uh, this part will disapp disappear. And there you go. You're only left with the subheadings of our document as we wanted them to be. 
so thank you very much for watching this i hope it helps you and uh, if you feel that this tutorial was useful kindly consider subscribing to my channel i will appreciate that i will really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing share this with friends ask questions in the comments area and if you have anything that you'd like me to cover in my tutorials i would be grateful if you could do that thank you very much for watching once again welcome and thank you